iOS 16.2 finally brings 5G to iPhones. This and more in today's episode. Hello and welcome to a fresh new episode of Daily Fiber. I'm your host, Aman Rashid. And before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, Let's get started. Apple has started rolling out the iOS 16.2 update to the users, which means that now if you're an iPhone user, you'll be able to take advantage of 5G speeds on your smartphone. But of course, before you go any further, hold your horses. Only iPhone 12 users or iPhone 13 users or iPhone 14 users or iPhone, th iPhone SE 3 users to take advantage of 5G. So if you have any of these phones, uh, then make sure that you have updated the software on your iPhone. So to do that, it's very easy. Go to your phone settings and uh, go to general and then check for the latest software update. That will be the iOS 16.2 update. Now, uh, once you've done that also, uh, after your phone is uh, finished updating, then make sure that you go to your mobile data settings over there. Uh, make sure to set a 5G auto in voice plan settings. So that way you'll be able to conserve battery on, uh, on your iPhone because 5G, as we all know, 5G take a toll on the battery life of any smartphone. So once all this is done, you'll be able to use 5G on your iPhone. Of course, you'll have to be in, in an eligible city uh, that has 5G connectivity for now Airtel and Geo are giving the 5G services in many countries including Delhi, Mumbai, Bengaluru and many more. So make sure you check all these points and Vodafone idea by the way are still waiting to roll out 5G. They haven't even announced by the way what am I talking about rolling out 5G service. They haven't even announced the services yet but of course if you're on Airtel and Geo and if you have an iPhone 12 and above uh, then you'll be able to use 5G on your iPhone from now with the iOS 16.2 update. The Realme 10 series was recently unveiled in India, including the Realme 10 Pro and the Realme 10 Pro Plus. And with that, today was the first day of a sale of the Realme 10 Pro Plus. And in terms of pricing, if you don't know, uh, the Realme 10 Pro Plus retails for 24,999 rupees and 25,999 rupees for the 6 GB RAM and 8 GB RAM uh, variants respectively. You get 128 GB storage, uh, which is standard on both the variants. So if you want to purchase uh, the smartphone, the Realme 10 Pro Plus, of course, this is the pricing, but uh, a specific card holders get an additional thousand rupees off uh, during this uh, first batch of sales. So that is something to note. Now, as for the Realme 10 Pro, well, that phone goes on sale day after tomorrow, which is December 16th. And uh, by the way, I have been reviewing the Realme 10 Pro and uh, the review video is also coming soon, uh, very soon on the Fiber channel, Hindi and English. So I would say that that in case you are planning to purchase the Realme 10 Pro, well, I would suggest that watch the video first and then maybe make your decision. The successor to the Galaxy M13 and the Galaxy F13 may be coming very soon if a recent BIS listing is to be believed. So on your screens, you can see a screenshot. You can see two model numbers of two smartphones, of course. And these phones are believed to be the Galaxy M14 5G and the Galaxy F14 5G. So as of right now, the screenshot does not reveal any other details of the smartphones like the specifications. But what we do know that the Galaxy M14 5G recently visited Geekbench and according to the Geekbench uh, listing well uh, the Galaxy M14 5G could be powered by the Exynos 1330 SoC there could be 4 GB of RAM and also we are expecting to see one UI atop uh, Android 13 on the Galaxy M14 5G now as for the Galaxy F14 5G well uh, nothing is known about the phone yet but of course, whenever these speculated upcoming phone launches become official, you'll get to know first. And if you don't want to miss out on the coverage, then definitely stay tuned to Fiber. The Oppo Find N2 series is set to break cover in China and two phones are reportedly launching the Oppo Find N2, which will be the successor to the Oppo Find N. And then there's a second Oppo Find N2 flip and uh, the image of this phone has leaked online. You can see it on your screens right now and the cover screen looks so cool it's big i mean this is something that samsung should have implemented on the z flip 4 in the first place so definitely uh, the oppo find n2 flip looks very cool but again the best cover display still i feel that uh, moto does it best with its razor smartphone but uh, even oppo has done a brilliant job for its uh, first attempt now oppo really likes to show off their cool devices but will there ever be a day that uh, a phone like this uh, you know uh, 
will make its way to the Indian uh, consumer market. I mean, I would like to see it in person, to test it out in person. I mean, yes, we media people do receive it for a week or two. But then why can't uh, Oppo Find and 2 Flip release in the Indian market also? I know it's a wild dream, but I can only hope uh, for the best. Uh, for now, I'm looking forward to the China launch of the Oppo Find and 2 series. Sub 10,000 rupees budget phones are hard to come by, but if you're a fan of a budget smartphone category and you want to upgrade to a new one, but you don't want to spend insane amounts of cash, well, today's deal is just for you. So if you remember that the Redmi 10A initially launched in India, it launched at a price of about 8499. Now the 3 GB RAM variant is still retailing for the same price, but if you plan to get the 4 GB RAM variant with 64 GB, now that phone launched for 9499, which is about 9500 rupees. But uh, right now in today's deal at Amazon, it is retailing for 7999 rupees, which is a solid 1500 rupees off from its official price. Now, if you have a federal bank card or an HDFC card, then you can further avail of a 10% instant discount. And after all these discounts and offers, the final price goes down to 7,200 rupees. And for anyone looking to buy a great uh, budget smartphone under 10,000 rupees from a trusted brand in India, then you just can't go wrong with the Redmi 10A. And with that, we have reached the end of this episode of Daily Fiber. So what are your thoughts on today's episode? Let me know everything in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all on a fresh new episode tomorrow. Take care and thank you for watching.